You know, automation, AI, robotics is a fascinating topic and will be a game changer. So I feel we are now almost at a historical moment. And, and why? I mean, look, we had the late 18th century Industrial Revolution where we move from bespoke manufacturing of, of goods to high quality, low cost mass manufacturing. And I feel our service sectors are now at the same point that we are now talking about the service revolution. And why I'm saying this is everything seems to be coming together now. Processes are getting ever smaller, less energy hungry, more powerful. Robotics are getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, technologies like mobile, like cloud, like facial recognition, like voice processing. All of this is getting so much more powerful in such a short period of time that I believe there will be almost no service process you will not be able to automate in the next 5 to 15 years. And this will have profound differences in terms of how we deliver service, how we consume service. Give you one example. I mean, uh, autonomous cars. And, and uh, yeah. if you had told me three years, five years ago, there will be self-driving cars on the roads. So I'm a German. I love cars. I love driving. I would have said, ah, no way. Today, we, this week, we are launching our first autonomous bus service on my campus at NUS. So it's a trial service and um, I'm quite confident that many dr drivers, whether it is trains, buses, taxis, trucks, uh, will be to a large extent uh, autonomous in the next 10 to 15 years. At the same time on campus we used to have a little truck driving around with our internal mail. We have a 250 hectare uh, campus, so it's quite big. And now Airbus and my university, we launched a joint venture to have autonomous drone delivery of mail. So next to my building is a drone landing pot, it's like a heliport, and the drones land there and drop the mail in, and then our guy from our building comes and picks up the mail and can load the new mail again. So no more van driving around, right? So, and, and you can take industry for industry, and the easiest uh, to automate is anything we call information processing type services. And that's most of the stuff we do. That is information, is booking, is consultation. So even if you go into a holiday, yes, there's some travel, which is physical processing here, right? But there's so much service surrounding that, that is a, a completely information processing, right? I mean, I promise you, we, I do work with a bit with Changi Airport in Singapore. Singapore always tries to be the best in everything they do, right? So. Um, uh, then you want to be the best airport in the world, but labor costs are high in Singapore. So what do you do, right? And so, so Changi, the new Terminal 4, is so much self-service technology. You don't even notice when you check in that your biometrics are being taken. So the minute you drop your suitcase later on, they still check the biometrics to make sure whoever checked in also checks on the, the back that there is no for security reasons. Yes. And then when you go on board, same thing, nobody checks you anymore. This is, are you the person? Your biometric captured at check-in checks whether you are the person going on board. So you can see how many people were taken out of that process here. As in the same thing, I mean, you know the security when they screen you. That is all 3D imaging now. No more, you don't have to take off your shoes, you don't have to take out your laptop, you don't have to take out your phone anymore. You put on the belt and you walk through. And this is all new technology here. Yes. And going forward, I mean, I promise you, currently you have an information count at every level at every terminal. People want to know where do I get my tax rebate, where is check-in to that, where is the bathroom, God knows what, right? Uh, where do I go for the bus shop here? Where's Louis Vuitton? I promise you, I mean, they have one counter per terminal. Terminal is big, so it's quite inconvenient for customers to go there. But if you think this is information processing service, and um, there is, I promise you, in five to ten years, every 50 to 100 meters, there will be a holograph in the airport of a friendly person beaming there, standing. How may I help you, David? And this holograph will, spe will uh, speak 20 languages perfectly and knows 99.99% of all the answers the typical tourist will ask. 
And for those questions where they don't ask, where they don't know the answer, there will be someone in the control center, there will be one person behind that controls all of these holographs and that then gets escalated to a human who will then deal with those questions that are currently not in the knowledge base and are not programmed. But every question will only be asked once, after that the AI will learn. So we are training the algorithm. So that's the future in service. I mean, the biggest bank in Singapore, uh, they just um, pr uh, produced the data for their chatbot. So this is happening right now. They launched a chatbot last year. In just in, they're a regional bank, but just in Singapore, they put, reported 4 million inbound calls per annum. And the chatbot, within the first few months, cut the call volume by over 600,000 calls. So can you imagine, translate this into three to eight minutes per call average call time, translate this into headcount savings in the call centers. And they expect this call volume to shrink by about 20% per annum. And you think from a customer service point of view, how many customers, or David, do you, do you say, oh, I so look forward today, I'm going to call my bank today? I think nobody wants to call the bank, right? I call the bank, why? Your website doesn't tell me what I want to know. I can't find it there. I have a question that somehow is not addressed anywhere. You run a promotion where something is not clear, right? So I call you why I have a problem. So it's, it's, um, I mean, some people even say, if you're truly into design thinking and you look at companies like Google, right? You never call Google. Why? Their self-service technology are so idiot-proof so intuitive, so customer error robust that you don't need to call them. So Google is happy to spend millions of dollars in getting a self-service technology right, right? So if you get calls as a bank or as a telco or as an insurance company, every call you got or you get, you might think of this call actually, hey, that's a service failure. I did something that got my customers stuck because you don't want to call me and I don't want you to call me. So if actually, if I was smarter as a service organization, I would design my processes and products and policies and websites and apps so much better that there's no need for you to call me, right? So I think we are, we are getting there. But meanwhile, of course, we do have calling. And this is where chatbots, as one of the most basic technologies, will revolutionize a lot of services. I mean, currently, if you look at the US, the fastest shrinking job is retail assistance. And why? thanks to Amazon and so on, right? Um, drivers of any kind will be next, uh, but I think in between actually will be call center staff because that's all information processing type of stuff. I can train a call center bot very fast and very easily. I, I can do this in six weeks and you're up and running, right? And customers love it, why? No need to wait. It's instantaneous. It is potentially in many languages. And the nice thing is, um, I mean, one of my former students, he is a McKinsey partner for AI and robotics in, in Asia. So I bring him back as a guest speaker, of course, my executive MBA. And he showed us this example, one of his clients, what happens if a chatbot doesn't know? And so the chatbot went through the whole part and then basically the chatbot said, I'm so sorry, sir, um, can I escalate you to a more senior agent? And that more senior agent now is a human. And then the human deals with that question. But what we don't know is that the chatbot observes exactly how the human goes through the process. And then you call again. And this time the chatbot picks up this, this uh, call and solves it. So the chatbot training is in real time. And the technology is there and is getting faster by and better by the day. So we, are, we will be able to cut um, millions of call center staff out of service organizations. So in terms of, I mean, talking about cost-effective service excellence, customers love it. And we as companies, we can really bring down cost. And if you look at, at the society as a whole, what that means to deliver you the same level of value and services, if it's a reasonably competitive market, Prices will come down as, as, as the cost savings will be competed away. That means all of us have, will have higher standards of living and then maybe can spend that money on a nice resort holiday somewhere else.